This is a review on this Lexada fishing rod and reel bag. I got the 150 centimeter bag and I actually got this bag to carry four fishing poles. As y'all know, if you're going bank fishing, which is what we're planning on doing, carrying all the poles down to the bank to get ready to fish is a chore. Normally I'd take a couple, the wife would take a couple, and then we'd have our yard chairs and whatever tackle box, whatever else we was taking to carry down there. So I got this bag to carry the four poles. And I was quite surprised when I got the bag. Okay, it's got a, two outer pockets. I'd say that's about maybe 19 inches long. And uh, about 4 inches wide maybe, 3 inches wide. And then there's another maybe 12 inch pocket here. I'll try to put all the dimensions in the description of this video. Nice heavy zippers. Big enough you can put some bait or hooks, bobbers. Uh, we're going bank fishing for catfish and this is what I got this bag for really. And I should be able to put almost all of the stuff I use to catch catfish in these two pockets so I don't have to take a tackle box with me if I don't want to. I should be able to put all that gear in here. But like I was saying, this is a three compartment bag. And I thought, well, I should be able to get my four poles in there no problem. Well, I actually have six poles, and two of them are big catfish poles. So, uh, I was really pleased with that. There's two heavy handles, and they wrap all the way around to the seam of the bag. It has a nice long strap that you could put across your shoulders. Carry this on your back. It's got double zipper handles on each zipper now as you can see I, you have to excuse me i just threw these in there i haven't got them uh tied up yet but uh these are the big catfish rods the big spin cast so uh you know you do have to break your handle down but I've got two fishing poles in each pocket. Got those two there. Let's see if I can get this unzipped with one hand. They seem to zip pretty good. Now I've got two more medium sized rods in this pocket and I do break them down and put them in there but there's room lengthways in this 150 centimeter bag that you can push one up so that the reels aren't in the same location let's see if I can get this third let me stop this camera real quick okay I've got this third pocket unzipped and I've got my two lighter weight reels and rods in the center pocket here so as you can see there's two four and six when it's just me I'll only take three but when it's me and the wife I'll take all four of these. Uh, we're always, what we're planning on doing soon is catfishing. So we're going to throw those out on bottom. 
possibly throw these two out on bottom and then we'll use no i'm sorry we'll be throwing these two out on bottom and then we'll be casting bait spin baits and stuff with those if we so decide to so yeah a really good bag for uh the price i think i was i'm, I'm happy with what i'm seeing time will tell as we use it but uh it makes it so much easier to keep up with your fishing gear and those won't be jiggling around getting all tangled up with each other they're protected out of the weather so i'm pretty happy with this idea and I just thought I would share real quick with y'all in case y'all were looking for one because I was actually thinking about making a fishing pole holder to mount to my roof rack on my Jeep to haul fishing poles and to haul this many rod and reels in one of those PVC uh, pipes. Shoot, it had to be a huge pipe to get all them in there. And this just makes more sense and it's not going to take up a whole lot of space inside the Jeep and they'll be locked up and safe so yeah uh fishing rod and reel bag to carry down to the bank and to even just store them in keep the dust off of them when they're in storage i think this is a really good idea y'all and i guess i may be late to the game because i know these bags have been around forever but this is the first time i've thought about getting one and man why didn't i get one way sooner but that's it for this video i just wanted to show this bag i'll put some of the information in the description in case you want to check them out and uh you know stay tuned to the channel and we'll let you know how this uh, bag works out over use as we use it and uh keep your eye open for some uh camping fishing videos to be added to the channel soon and we're gonna go try some of this out uh, probably this weekend uh, Not sure how well we will do but we're gonna get out of the house and have fun and uh, Set some stuff up on the bank and just have a, a nice time lakeside So thanks for watching Hope this video might gave you some ideas for getting you one of these bags and uh, Hope you can get outside and have an adventure yourself don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. See you outside.